We were introduced to the ASK organization a little over a year and a half ago when our son Holden was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia at the age of nine months old. Mary Jo told us about their financial assistance program, which helped pay our mortgage twice the first year that Holden was diagnosed, which was a tremendous burden lifted off of us because upon his initial diagnosis and his hospital stays, his ongoing treatment, his clinic visits, I left my job and our family went down to a single income. Being stuck in the hospital room all the time is uh, very trying. So being able to step out for a few minutes and not have to worry about um, somebody watching your child so you can get a drink or five minutes on social media or something <laughs> like that just to yeah. uh, let your thoughts you know escape. Most of our treatment was inpatient so it took us a while before we actually met Katie. She was always like a bright and shining face. She knew Holden's name. She knew Piper's name. She would greet them, play with them, always kind. She came up to us last year and asked if we would want to be sponsored as their family at Christmas. And at first I was really hesitant, but she was just kind of sitting there and smiling, encouraging us, because it's such a weird position to be in, to go from being in charge of your life to just completely flipped upside down. Um, and once you get that cancer diagnosis, that is what happens. Everyone was gifted. Um, the family that sponsored us bought for Josh, myself, Piper Holden and our dog Moose. And the kids had the most awesome Christmas and we were just It was a very humbling experience. Yeah. Going through treatment with one child, it's unfortunate the feeling that you're so focused on your one child who's sick and going through treatment that you feel like you're neglecting your other children. Um, so that was tough to come to terms with, but it was really nice when Jessica and Piper got to go for their mother and daughter spa day and it was nice that ask would send our daughter like little care packages and they also have a preschool program called the ask first step program that our daughter participated in it is for um, patients and their siblings to attend a safe preschool so they get some of those experiences that they would typically be missing out on. At the beginning of this year, we were starting to get back to our normal lives. Holden was had his schedule to get his port removed. Um, he was completely done with chemo. We were done with monitoring. We were getting ready to go to the survivorship clinic. Then COVID happened and everything stopped. <laughs> the preschool, the first step preschool did their best to do virtual learning opportunities, which Piper thought was the coolest. We would do Zoom meetings mm -hmm. with her classmates and she would do science experiments or art projects. One thing that has been incredibly helpful to me through the pandemic and even before when Holden was in treatment is speaking to a psychologist. Um, I was speaking to one every two weeks and when I first met with her in clinic, she said, don't worry, like it's nothing you have to pay for. I don't need your insurance. Ask pays for that service for cancer kids, siblings, parents. Josh has um, utilized the resource as well. Once you're an Ask family, you're always an Ask family because so many things change so quickly with cancer. Like I was a teacher and then I quit. So I wasn't, that wasn't me anymore. And then I was a cancer mom and now we're done with treatment. So it feels like that's not really me anymore, but ASK is gonna be with us indefinitely. It's an organization that we've made a connection with and has made a um, connection with many families and we've met many families through that we're gonna have um, for the foreseeable future mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm.